In the last video, we talked about routing in Flutter and how you can move from one screen to another screen and pass data. There is another way to do it, which is called named routing. In the named routing, you have to define your routes first in the build section, and then you can use it to route your applications from one screen to another one. We are going to modify the same application as the previous video. So the application is the same, but we are using named routing. In the build section and inside the material app, we start by initializing the route. The initial route will be the, the initial route will be slash. And this is like the home screen. And when you specify this, you have to remove the home from your build and then you specify routes and then you specify string widget builder and inside this you specify where the slash goes it goes to my home page and we provide the title as well and then we specify another route slash pg2 for page 2 and then this goes to second page and we also imported the second page as well. When you define this routing, the Flutter knows when you specify slash, for example, where to go, or when you specify slash pg2, where it goes. And then inside your app, when, in this case, the user pushes the button, you want to go to the next screen, and pass the summation of two values that the user entered. So we call navigator dot push name and we specify context and we specify the path which is slash pg2 for page 2 and then we specify arguments. Inside the arguments you have to specify it as a map. For example sum maps to the sum variable which is available here and then we pass the sum to the second screen in this way inside the second screen what we need to do is to go to the build function and before scaffold we specify that final map arguments equals to modal route dot of context dot settings dot arguments as map this extracts the the mapping that you did in the first screen and extracts the value from what you passed and then we check if the arguments is not null we assign the arguments sum to the variable args this argument sum comes from the first page where you specify sum in the argument and after this you can use the args variable inside your code and I say this result is args and if we try to test this application 3 and 4 for example we get 7 the result of summation of 3 and 4 is passed to the page 2 and then inside the page 2 the value is extracted and assigned to arcs and then inside the application and inside the scaffold you can use it to show the result on the screen this was a short video i hope it was helpful thanks for watching i will see you in the next video